In Rock Band VR, there is a big issue with the video calibration that I've found very noticeable since I started playing the game. I always felt like I had to hit early, no matter what number I put into the video calibration line in the settings text file. That means that for some reason, the game was completely ignoring the video calibration. This is likely due to the game being made specifically for VR, making a video calibration setting seemingly unnecessary since it was only supposed to be on one specific type of video display. Unfortunately, they were wrong. I could no longer stand it, so I looked into the game's code to figure out what was going wrong. Since I don't have the original source code for Rock Band VR, I have to reverse engineer the game's executable using a program called Ghidra. I had already done some work on Rock Band VR in the past from implementing a song speed hack, the most important being a pre-release executable of Rock Band VR which had its function names left intact. Those function names have proven invaluable in assisting with finding the right function. Even with the function names there, I had no idea what harmonics called the function that loaded the calibration numbers. So instead of blindly searching for the function, I searched for any references to what the calibration was called in the game's config file. I got an exact match, which led to three functions, two of which seemed to be for an in-game calibration menu, which doesn't exist in Rock Band VR. That means those two functions likely go unused in Rock Band VR, which was quickly proven to me when I found no functions calling them. The one in between those two functions was much more important. It read the current calibration number in the config file. And there was a function that called it, which led me to the function that actually sets the video calibration in-game. With that function found in the pre-release exe, I followed the same route in the latest exe to get the location of the function in the release executable and rename them. With that being found, I was able to create some code to hook into the function and have it output to a command line console log when the function is called using rbvr enhanced. But there was never an output to the log. What the hell? This unfortunately confirmed my suspicions and explained to me exactly why the video calibration wasn't normally being applied. The function that sets the video calibration is never called by the game. That means almost all of the code I found is not used by the game at all. So I decided to go a different route, hooking into the audio calibration and forcing the video calibration to be called from there. Luckily, the audio calibration function was right next to the video calibration, so adding a hook for it was much quicker. Although, using the audio calibration function found next to the unused video calibration function had a chance of not working either. Maybe there's another function that is actually used to set both, but somehow specifically the video part wasn't implemented correctly. But since the audio calibration does actually work, I tried it anyway in the hopes that it is actually called somewhere else in the game's code. I did a sanity test run with just the audio hook. And with that test run, I finally got an output in the console. Next I added a call to the video calibration. And lo and behold, two outputs. But as I started playing, I found one last thing to fix. The video calibration was definitely being set now, but something fell off on how it was being set. As it turns out, the number I gave the video calibration was for some reason inverted to how it works in all other Rock Band games. Positive moved the hit window backwards, and negative moved it forwards. I simply multiplied the input by negative 1 before giving it to the function. After it was confirmed to be working correctly, I removed my hardcoded number and instead made it read from the rbvr enhanced config file, and allowed audio calibration to be read from there too, just for convenience. If you want to try this out yourself, it is available in the latest download for rbvr enhanced. Just add the lines I included in the description into your rbvrenhanced.ini file. If you want to learn more about how this or other Rock Band mods work, feel free to leave a comment or join the RB Enhanced and Milehacks Discord servers. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Blizzix. Peace out.